Hans Stick here from Maple Studio. How you all doing? So, what are we looking at today? Kapow! It's a Zoom H1 handheld recorder. So, if you're putting videos up on YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, of your bands rehearsing, or if you're putting song demos up on SoundCloud and stuff, this is your friend. Um, it's sub $100, sub £80 here in the UK. It's a little stereo handheld recorder, uh, microphone configuration, XY pattern on the top. Um, and it's such an easy to use, great little device. So everything you need to get going is in the box. It comes with a two gig um, little micro SD card, which it takes the, so that's the really, really small ones, quite fiddly, but it comes with a little adapter so you can plug it into your Mac or your PC. Um, and it's just such an easy to use, great little device. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, it's a really small little handheld device. It's about the size of a Mars bar. Those of you who know me will laugh when I mention a chocolate bar, but there you go. And you can see we've got the microphones on top. Um, not say they're stereo, so it's an XY configuration, condenser microphones. Uh, they're shielded by the sort of molded uh, bodywork uh, with the holes to let the sound pressure through and stuff. Uh, quite a nice little touch, means they're gonna be protected. Yeah, I'd imagine you could drop it on it. I won't do, because this one's kindly on loan to me from Anderson's Music Store in Guildford. I don't think they'd appreciate it if I drop it. Um, but as you can see, all the controls that you need to make any adjustments to the audio uh, are on the sides of the device, or on the back as well. So it's a dead simple unit to use. You don't have to scroll through any menus on it. Well, I say everything is at your fingertips. Um, you've got the options to record at WAV files, in WAV file format rather, uh, up to 24-bit, um, 96k uh, mp3s all your standard formats up to 320 bit rate um, a nice little feature as well is it's got an auto gain sensitivity now i've already tested this out when i've been drumming my only criticism with this and it would be to be expected really is there is a slight delay while it adjusts it's not super super quick so if you were doing drum videos and you were sitting behind your kit and you're just speaking and then you go and play some drum bits you're going to get the first sort of five seconds are going to be distorted while it adjusts to the sound pressure and of course vice versa when you stop drumming you start speaking it's going to be very quiet until it adjusts the sensitivity um, but it's a great touch because i mean if you're like me you record a lot of stuff on your own auto mic gain something like this is a nice little feature once you know how it works and you can cater for that it's a no-brainer it's so simple to use i've done a few little test recordings of some drum stuff i'll go and do some more on camera as well this time uh, and i've got to say really really impressed uh, you've got the ability to put a line into it as well, so you can plug like an external microphone if uh, you've got something like a Rode VideoMic Pro, or for example in there, you can plug that in, or obviously straight out of a mixing desk, your stereo uh, stereo jacks to um, a three and a half mil stereo can go in there. And you've got your headphones stroke line out as well. So, like I say, menu wise, an absolute piece of cake to use. I haven't opened the manual, typical man stuff. You just want to plug it in and go. You've got all the all the buttons on the side that you need, your fast forward, rewind, your trash can, your play, all that kind of stuff. And on the other side, you've got your volume control if you're using your headphones. What I will do, I will stick this, it's a, the screw thread on the back is your typical sort of um, uh, tripod camera sort of thread. So they do sell the accessory kit with this which you get a little adapter for, which is like a, a plug that comes out the back, which enables you to stick it in a mic stand, a standard sort of sure or whatever mic holder. Uh, but you don't have to have anything like that. I personally would use a camera tripod just to mount it dead flat, whatever you're doing, nice and easy. Uh, I also picked up one of these little things um, from a local store. I think my dad, dad did actually, as well as sort of little Christmas present things, um, which works a treat. Just screw it in the back and you can chuck this wherever you want and uh, just set it recording and it will get you great results. Obviously with any handheld recorder, if you've got it in your hand, you're gonna have handling noise. So always be aware of that. You want to try and eliminate any noisy sort of handling and that kind of stuff. Do all your settings before you start recording and be aware if you adjust anything when recording, you're gonna, that's gonna come out. They're very, very sensitive microphones. I'm gonna chuck this up in front of the drum kit and uh, I'll also do some recording with some acoustic guitar in here. I'll stick it on the tripod um, and Yes, I will leave everything set to auto for these demos so you can get a feel for the how it reacts to the dynamics and all that kind of stuff. But I think it's pretty good. So uh, let me know what you think. Check it out. Okay, so here we are. We've got the Zoom set up in front of the uh, acoustic guitar. I've got my Laravel here. Just tuned it so none of you should hopefully moan too much. But you might moan about my playing, but I can't help that. I'm a drummer. Um, 
The zoom is about 12 to 14 inches in front of the guitar. It's roughly pointed at the edge of the sound hole where the neck just meets the body. Uh, we're recording at 48K, 24 bit. And um, yeah, let's check out what it sounds like. What I'll do is I'll play some hard uh, chords to let the microphone sensitivity adjust. Um, and then I'll just play some basic rhythm. I'll come down in dynamic volume, in dynamics, and then I'll go up again. You can hear how it reacts. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, so here we are uh, at the drum kit. I've got the drum wallet on the snare drum, so we've got more of a dry sound going on. Uh, and let's hear how quickly it, it, uh, the Zoom H1 dynamically adjusts to the, or adapts to the volume. And um, then I'll flip the drum wallet off and we'll have more of an open snare drum and seeing how it picks up the differences in tone um, between the two. So let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. That is the Zoom H1. Uh, it's a really, really simple to use bit of kit. I can't stress that enough. And at its price point, it really is accessible to everyone. It's, it's cheaper than buying a good microphone. Um, so I would recommend this for anyone that's getting into YouTube videos. You've got your, perhaps even if you've got your DSLRs, but the, we all know the audio quality in them is pretty poor. Um, and you want something a little bit more flexible than a shotgun mic, or if you don't want to build up your own home studio, but you're doing videos, and the, we all know that the microphones on um, video cameras are pretty poor. This is kind of the middle ground. It's, it's a really good entry point. Um, and really, for me, I can't stress enough that if I had one of these when I was starting off, It'd be such a godsend because to record a nice quick bit of drumming, or if you're going to put your first few handful of drum videos up, so easy to use. Experiment with placement. Uh, don't just throw it up always in front of the sound source. Experiment with distance. Um, don't be afraid to go into the manual mode with the mic sensitivity if you've got someone that can help you adjust that. You're always going to get better results doing that, but I wanted to get across the point of if you're on your own, like most of us are when we shoot videos for YouTube and all that kind of stuff. It's a very, very useful tool. So, um, yes, if you're interested or like this product, please check, uh, click the link below to Anderson's Music Store in Guildford who have kindly lent me these to check out. I've also got the H2N and the H4N that I'll be going through over the next couple of um, weeks. And, um, yes, I'll also be going out uh, and perhaps down to a river near me and just recording some sort of nature sounds and seeing how they deal with sort of that kind of thing as well. Uh, I might add this one to another one of the videos when I do that. Uh, but there you go. That's the Zoom H1. Great little bit of kit, affordable, easy to use, no brainer. Stick out. Ching! Eee.